Hi, my name is Estria, and along with my good friend Jason Mateo, we head up the Estria Invitational Graffiti Battle. We do that to raise more awareness around public art, hope to get more people doing public art, and get more people to appreciate it. We hope that the youth will get involved and become leaders and voices in the community. So we're hoping we can shift the social consciousness in and around graffiti across the next 10 or 20 years. third annual Life is Living Festival here in the Firmary Park in West Oakland. The Life is Living Festival hosts many different artists. We partnered with the SJA Invitational Graffiti Battle and they are a centerpiece of the Life is Living Festival. I think they help us to decriminalize urban art as well as celebrating aerosol art at its highest level. You got five hours, you all are gonna get the same amount of paint, the same colors, no stencils, no markers, none of that whack non-writer stuff. This is a writer's battle. The word for the day is HEAL. H-E-A-L. We're gonna score you lettering first on zero to ten. So if you spell it wrong, you got a zero, no matter how gorgeous it is. <laughs> I'd like to introduce some of the judges. Nate won in the dream shirt. Bringing consciousness into graffiti is something that when I was a writer, that was important to us, you know, not just writing your name, like expand it, you know, make your message bigger. So like this battle here today, they're choosing the word heal, which I think is something that art does. Art is one of those things that's not a drug, it's free, and you can do it, and it makes you feel better. That's magic. But I hope that there's some good letters here today. I hope that people like take full advantage of how good this spray paint is now today. It's like you're holding an airbrush in your hand. It's important to have this event because there is no other event doing this. It's important that the youth have a voice. And one of the things about spray can art or aerosol art, I don't like to use the word graffiti too much because when you say graffiti, sometimes that has negative connotations to the general public like breaking windows, gang violence. But the fact is that what we do, it has nothing to do with those kind of violent behavior. We like to just paint on a wall and put artwork on. You gotta be a triple threat, you know? Letters, figures or characters, and background. A style, um, the relationship between letters, uh, the colors, depth, intricacies of patterns, concepts, uh, figures, characters. Does he put this all together in a nice, good, cohesive unit? If you could hit all those, in a concept of a word called heal, you got it. You won, hands down, I'm gone. With this art form, which is based around the word, as a writer and a believer in, and a poet, I just believe in that power of words. Uh, so to be able, and then, you know, and I also believe that when you have more than one person really like concentrating on a word or a, a feeling or maybe a vision, I believe that, you know, it will, it will happen. You know, to have 20 artists um, from all over the country focusing on a word that messages a, a positive way of life, a positive way of living, I just, I feel like it's a very powerful thing and, you know, just truly honored to be part of that movement of uh, using words for healing. There's instant gratification of somebody coming up and seeing something created right in front of their eyes, which is super rare. But to see it live is, is, is incredible for a lot of people. Without Oakland, I would never have been the person I am. Graffiti writers in the United States are forced to the worst areas of town. Everybody kind of congregated in the Oakland tracks, and that's how we grew our art. That doesn't happen anymore because of police and just shutting those areas down. So a lot of younger people don't get to see us. This are great because there's tons of people you haven't seen them in years. They come from all over the world. I work a lot of um, older stuff, Art Deco, Art Nouveau, um, but because it's with aerosol, it has that kind of graffiti element to it. Um, big, bright colors, strong lines. I used to work in a stained glass factory, so that's kind of where that style comes from, you know? Um, my style is already very organic. So I'm hoping to bring some of those elements into it. 
have a 16-month-old daughter named Iris. I think I can relate to this, the healing aspect as far as going through the process, the nurturing, and you want to inspire younger women, you know, because when I was younger, there weren't a lot of women that I found, like one in each city that is doing its thing, and so I think at this point, it's pretty intertwined. I think it'll be okay. There's a few, few women painters today that are pretty great, so. I'm really about like my letters kind of intertwining and having that like organic rock to them. Been tattooing for 11 years now. Started tattooing in 99. Been writing graffiti for almost 20 years. The tattooing stuff broadened my horizons on like what my influences are. Well, I've always kind of been about peacefulness. It's just important to play a positive role in the culture and you know not be one of these negative dudes that's trying to like shoot people over tags you know it's in any big city there's people that are mistreated especially by the police or whatever you know and it's it's hard to try to like incorporate that into an 8x8 panel you know <laughs> Heal is a great word for the battle um, because, you know, that's what it's all about. It's about healing, the, whether the community, within yourself, within your family, it's all about healing and growing together. It's bringing people that close together and a lot of communities, a lot of uh, races and having fun here in the park and it's all about the youth, the kids, to older people. What, the mural that I'm going to do is kind of like a witch doctor and the word next to him and the L is going to be his cane, so that's where I'm going with the word heal. I wanted to share with the living, you know, what happened in the past. So a lot of this is dedicated to the writers. Back home in Hawaii, as, as the generations go on, I notice that the younger generations are losing touch with their culture. So what we do back home is we take graffiti and we honor our tradition and we're letting people know once you lose touch with your culture and your land, you're done. Celebrate your history as much as you can in your art. I have a salmador in the middle, which is a, a way of burning different medicine and being able to heal your body like through that. Using art, using hip hop, using dance, using music. All those elements are important in our ways that we just learn how to cope with things. And we gotta learn to stop using all the negative things that are actually hurting our bodies and that are not anything with healing our bodies and start using the positive stuff, which is that. I think it's very important to always to be a mentor to any of the young cats that come to us young boys and girls that come to us and try to have us sign their books and stuff because we don't know what impact we're gonna make at that moment. Got the word heal and I was able to really flow with that word. I did a H with some wings coming out of it. Kind of like a bird form with uh, some nice landscape and stuff. Just kind of a comment towards uh, a lot of the natural disasters and stuff that we've been getting around the world and stuff. So. We've been going through a lot as a, as a nation, as you know, as a planet, the oil spill, the war is still going on, and as well as the wars that are going on in our communities, you know, from Oakland to LA, we're the same that way, you know. And just seeing like, you know, multiculturals, people, you know, different people coming out here, enjoying the event, kids coming out, it shows me that this type of event can work and can happen, especially in cities like Oakland, SF, and hopefully in LA. As you look around here, I mean, you have kings and queens throwing down on this canvas that just a few hours ago, these canvases were blank, you know, and within moments, you know, just a splash of color here, a spray of color there, and here we are, you know, just beautiful art on display for everybody to experience. That's something that's very needed in this community, and I'm glad that we're here, not only to, to help bring some healing, but to heal ourselves. Thank all of you writers for coming out and painting in this thing. Yeah. It's hard. I gotta say, out of the four years, the hardest decision I've had to make. Yeah, every judge said and, that to me too. Yeah. For second place, please give a warm applause for Jair. Jair from Denver. Denver, tattoo artist. Yeah. Yeah, go follow.
Alright, first place. From Los Angeles, Mr. Vile One. Vile One! Yeah, Vile! Vile One! <laughs> the way I select people to participate in the battle is not just on their artistic ability. For us, a king or queen is someone who has a positive attitude and they respect people. It's also how they speak to the youth, you know, it's what they're representing for us as a culture. One of the good things about the battle is that it's cool because you see a lot of love and support from the community for the art and the artists. Also for them to be able to see how one word is or one theme is, is interpreted by all these different artists at the same time. You almost never get to see something like that. 